So I've jacked the vehicle up and put a axle stand underneath just in case. So what you're looking for is this. This is the bleed nipple. It's just got a protective rubber over it. Always remember to put your nipple cap somewhere safe so you don't lose it. So you'll need an old container and a section of tube. The tube needs to be submersed in the fluid before you start doing anything. So just put a bit of oil in the end of the tube and slipped it over the nipple and then we just need to undo and let the fluid flow. So I left the cap on whilst I undid the nipple just to restrict the flow. Uh, as you can see it's just starting to drop now so we just need to keep that level topped up. The reason we were changing the fluid is it can get quite dark from bits of rubber from inside the braking system. Next bit's pretty boring, you just gotta wait for the fluid to drop and then keep topping it up. The bottle is clear on the side so you can see how much fluid you've used. So just top up the reservoir as necessary until you have a nice clear fluid. So the level's gone from approximately there to there so we're gonna cap this off and move to the next one. So I've moved to the near side and as you can see I haven't even, even had to jack this side up to get to it, uh, so I just had to turn the wheel. So I've located the rear brake nipple, slightly less accessible but still can be bled with the wheel in location. So we can see here, perfectly clear fluid coming through, no air bubbles, so it's all looking good. Just remember to clean up after you've done this because some will leak past uh, the nipple and make a bit of a mess and the brake fluid can remove paint off the wheels. Last thing is to check the reservoir is at the correct level. Replace the cap and you're all done. When you finish the work outside you just need to make sure you've got a hard brake pedal. First couple of applications will be a little bit soft.